know. <laughs> yeah. But isn't it crazy how, That's how this like go. early yeah. into losers these two are squaring One, off? Go. Um, more often than not, um, Venia is going to be the one to take it over Jen. So, like, you see Venia. Oh my god, both of them just being so patient is what I would say until Venia just goes in with a short hop, falling neutral out. Amazing tech chase there, but not able to get much more off of it. Yeah, and definitely, because of the patient play, that definitely shows sign of how much they respect each other and how much they play. Yes. It, they just know each other's habits. And how pissed off they both are. And yeah. I also just want to, like, know. If, if Jen is camping you, like, full fledged, he's pissed off. Oh my god, Jen is right now playing a little bit out of his mind, I want to say. But Venia already getting that classic Venia advantage state. He was anticipating Jen to do a panic roll to the right, though he's unable to find the uh, falling up there again. <laughs> Ooh, that up tilt timed a little bit differently would have been more than enough to call out the neutral air dodge. Jen positioning himself perfectly under the platform so that he could whip punish anything that uh, Venia wants to throw out. That's not it. Okay, dash attack again parried, but still not Crossing able to punish. Up. Yeah. Yeah, when you initiate it so close that somebody shielded, it will cross up. Something you have to be very, very mindful of. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cheating. Wow, beautiful commitment. Taking an early stock and giving himself the lead. All right. Right now, these short hops from Jen, he's maybe trying to call out uh, perhaps a full hop to Venia, but... Great punish on the overcommitment to Shuriken off stage. Paolo can go so deep to fish for those back ends. Yeah. She's definitely one of the characters that can just go out there and just challenge, like, Ven Venus to recovery or Greninja's recovery in general. Yes, sir. They're, they're one and the same. Oh, fair. Oh, my just God. able to get the... Wow. My God. Okay, so yeah. I just want to talk about how amazing that was. Not even just the footstool, but the fact that Jen Entire knows that sequence. people know, like like Jen knows that people try to recover as soon as possible after they get footstool. So yeah. that's why he immediately timed that down. It so so smart and just like incredible execution for him to be able to connect something like that. Yeah, yeah. Jen, this being a top player, but it's crazy. Like because Jen has the lead, but most of his game just felt like it was being run by Venya mm -hmm. for like a part of it. Now Jen has to control. He's starting to run away with it. But oh my god. That early stock definitely boosts things to his momentum. Right now, like, it's, this is so scary for Jen just to be trapped in a corner against Greninja. Then you're just making the most out of his forward because it just has. It's, it's so disjointed. It'll kill you. It's such a good move. Yeah. Okay, up tilt taking it. Not right there. Mia, like, is trying to catch out, catch impatience from Jen, but. Jen is not taking the bait, connecting the back end. A very, very convincing two stock lead over the game once. Too bad for yeah. You. Yeah, too, yeah, Paolo. It is too bad for me. So, Venya's down a game, but remember what you were saying before? Game, game dos, one, Venya. Game two. Game dos. Game two, he kind of saw some. Game three, he's gonna, you know. He's, he's gonna got, put you in the We got game two venue now. Yes. So I'm expecting big things and big moves. Three, two, like what I think. One, yeah. I, I, I got it. I just chose to be quiet. Look at him. He's just standing in place, charging Shuriken. What kind of abstract, like, neutral are these two players playing right now? This just shows how much experience they have with one another. That, like, they could just, like. They just know what everybody yeah. is going to do at a given moment. And Jen is trapping these air dodges with Nair. 44% on Venya. Oh my, that fair was safe. I really like the commitment to the RB there instead of trying to overextend with another aerial. Uh, boost. Missing up right there. But still, Matt, not able to get punished for that. So, kudos to Jen. Oh, got hit out of his jump. I would have expected another back here. Venya might have been able to get it. Yeah, dash attack. And right now, both of these players are just playing around so patiently around each other's hitboxes. Yeah, and I think that might have been a missed input because... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's going to cost... Yeah, Jen did an up air instead of a bear and definitely looked like a missed input. Now, now down... 
a stock against Venya. That's a dash attack into up smash, already giving Venya a very cool 29%. Um, and like, again, like, this is a situation where Jen has a stock deficit. I'm really curious to see if he can break back the lead for himself. The falling back here, more than enough to take it at that point. What? Please tell me you saw that. Please no, tell me you saw that. I did not see it. Venya just sat in front of Jen's shield for like a solid two seconds, stared him down, and then hit him with, I believe it was either a down tilt or a dash attack, one of the two. But it was just so brilliant. Man, like, patience. it was such a power move. And now, really good reflect, just a nice little interrupt tool in Venya's momentum because he wanted to input that up a little bit sooner because he got hit with, you know, the reflected shuriken. He wasn't able to get the win box off as he would have liked. Yeah, okay. And now we got the Palu combos. This is what everybody on Twitter is scared of. Swipe, swipe. Gunan just gonna swipe those ankles. Oh. Okay. And we see Jen babysit a bit more. So he's getting into the area where he can hit you, but he's just not doing it. Yes. And he's outside of your range for it. So you can't like do anything back. And the Elf Smash. And you saw how much percent he had. He basically brought that back. I'm surprised that the win box didn't connect on Jen at all. But that's going to be 23%. But Jen over committing to the explosive flame. But because he is across the stage, that forward air is not going to kill quite yet. So I don't like that commitment to the pivot grab. I mean, I like the idea behind it. But it is very risky. That is going to be the up throw, though. Yeah. Pivot grab still in the sock. Yeah. That must be great having a good one. Thanks, Bowser. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh my God. I think that was that wasn't even drop shield. I think that actually poked. It might have. Right, wow. Dash attack. Just armoring through Venia is falling back here. Right now, this is so dangerous for Venia. Landing as good ninja is so difficult, especially against something as disjointed as Palutena is up there. Yeah, that neutral right. was really, really safe. You see Jen respecting that, unless he has like a really good read on Venia's positioning after he lands that neutral air. Like, you know, he's just gonna get away with that for the most part. Ooh, I okay. thought that was a ledge jump back here. It's not that legendary. Oh, that's the F tilt. I really like the, the parries from these players, but the second one of them overcommits, they're essentially losing the stock, and that's yeah. not safe. Oh, I thought we were going to so see a bear. Venya was probably DI'ing in until the very last moment because he was anticipating a back throw there, not okay. a down throw. <gasps> okay, I was about to say Venya lost that game because that back throw did not connect. That was going to be very, very upset for him, but able to get another back throw afterwards, so all is good and just. Man, what a game. Um, this is going crazy. I can't believe these two players have to fight so early in the bracket. That's just like... Well, they both got upset. Yeah. Ooh, I can't remember who Alan lost to. I mean, Jen. Jen? Yeah. Mr. E. Yeah, Jen lost to Right, Jen lost to Mr. E, but then who didn't Benny lose to? Odyssey. Right! There we go, there we go, there we go. See, I'm, uh, it's all coming back. You're supposed to know brackets. It's all coming back to me. Gosh. I, I don't my true two memories in the best. But here we go. Palutena's little boogaloo, 40.3%, 52%. Keep it going. Oh, my 63. God. 63. It just does not end. Trying to end it early with a down air, but Venya is so smart to five. angle his upbeat towards the stage. All right. And Venya just doing tilt, safe tilt on shield, knowing that Palu can't do anything out of shield. Really. Okay, I'll smash. Zero to death. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Benny is starting to get something started. Starting to get uh, a little something going. Yeah, try to have the sauce right there. I like the quick landing with the down air. Just a nice little mix up. Make sure that Jen has to stay on his toes. Can't get all of his regular follow ups. Alright, welcome back. 
Mm. Really solid stuff, and this is so dangerous. But then he has to find a way to get back onto stage. But I love that. He is capitalizing on the fact that Jen has already multiple times when pressured, uh, when he's reversed being pressured from the corner, he always retreats back to center stage. Venya is starting to catch on to that with those dashes. So really, really beautiful stuff. Yeah. Kudos to Venya. But a big problem starts now. It's like, how does he conceal the stock? That forward almost took it, but because it is the middle of the stage, it probably wasn't that high of a percent. It's not going to be a quite yet. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Beautiful back here. Just like forcing him back onto the stage. And that is going to be the falling forward out. Venia at 99%. This isn't too bad as long as he does not get tossed off stage. He's looking for the dash attack. He's looking for the down tilt. He's looking for the back end. Anything that he can start building up the damage. Alright, great job. From these players just standing the ground. Beautiful right, parry up punish. Up tilt. Oh, I thought that would have been the frame trap with the falling neutral out, but perhaps he was anticipating maybe a little bit of greediness to drift back towards the stage with that back end. Regardless, this is now a mostly even game. Beautiful spot dodge after landing because when Venia, I mean, when Jen has his back like towards the edge of the stage like that, he is looking for a back throw. Oh. So now we got. One socks and two, and Benya is in danger of losing this. This is so. Ah. And I'll see, I cannot remember the last time that Jen took a set over Benya, because as far as I know, Benya has a positive record on Jen. Um, but I don't want to count him out quite yet at all. Almost yeah. connecting that forward, which at that part of the stage, who knows, might have been the stop. And that it's been pretty late. Alright, down to Oh, no. What a mix up. That was a really aggressive recovery option from Venya, but it's gonna work out because, you know, he never pulled that out before. Definitely not something that Jen anticipated. The falling forward is gonna be what takes it. And yeah. all that Venya needs right now is a falling back here into the tech chase, but he does not have enough movement speed to contest with Palutena's tech girl. Alright, there, up tilt. What an amazing, just like, dash up tilt. So good. But, Jenna may be a little bit hasty with that ledge trap there with the up smash. Maybe he was trying to anticipate a jump to Venya. I love that. Just stuffing out the down tilt by going right over the hitbox with a back hit. That was the strangest trade I've ever seen. Yeah. Definitely not one of the finest. Oh my god, almost dying to that raw neutral out. This is so dangerous. That was the grab. That yeah. was the grab for Jen, but he dropped it, but... Oh no. Yeah, that takes it. And Venia not making top three. Because, like, how... Out of seven. How many, he knows, has he won in a row? Millions. And for him to go out at seventh. Wow. Oh my god, my hair. Ah, okay, right. much better.